Hello and welcome to Memo's Tech Tips. My name is Calvin Camilo and today I will be reviewing replacing an iPhone 4 screen. Tools you will be needing will be a mini Phillips head screwdriver, a case opener, a SIM card opener or a paperclip, um, the replacement screen, and a broken iPhone. Um, I also have a magnetized tray here, uh, about $3 in uh, Home Depot or Micro Center or any electronics store or Radio Shack. A uh, pretty, pretty useful uh, tool. Here I have some screws on a laptop that I'm working on and some other projects. So keep them all nice and separated, you know. Nice little thing to have. So here we have the iPhone 4 and you can see that the screen is cracked inside the glass itself is fine you can tell the reflection of my monitor to computer the glass itself is fine it's the screen inside the LCD retina screen um, that is uh, broken is cracked inside um, a lot of people will think just oh just replace the LCD screen um, that's more difficult um, it, c it can be done but I suggest just replace the desensitizer and the LCD screen. Um, less less hassle. Um, a hundred times better. You'll get a if you have a scratch on your screen, might as well replace it. So here we have the. So I ordered it on eBay, and I do uh, want to tell people to be careful when buying on eBay, especially parts like this. Um, you want to make sure that they're OEM parts. Um, there are a lot of fakes out there, okay. So just be wary, okay. Be be uh, weary of of uh, fakes, okay. Um, this one has the glass sensitizer and the Retina display, okay. When you buy on eBay, just make sure they have like a thirty day return policy, some something. Those don't don't get anything that says no returns, cause it's fake, okay. At least that would be backed by eBay, um, eBay uh, uh, guarantee, uh, protection. I mean, eBay's buyer protection. Um, make sure that it says full refund, not just a replacement. Because um, when it says full refund, you know the company's for legit and they're willing to give you your money back. So, to begin, I'm going to first shut off the iPhone. So let's do that. And it's off. And we're going to remove the SIM card tray. No SIM card inside. It's okay. And next, we're going to take the mini Phillips head screwdriver. We're going to remove two screws in the bottom. And I want to tell people to um, take your time. Okay, don't rush this. Um, if you if my video is not thorough enough, there are a lot of videos on YouTube, um, step by step instructions uh, with annotations and probably three D three D graphics. Um, the way 3D things are going now. So, if you fixed uh, any Apple products before, you do know that their screws are extremely saw small. You could hardly tell that's there. Let me try to focus. There it is. There's a little bugger. Okay. So they're small. That's how they keep their um, products nice and slim and small, of course. Um, and very 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 beautiful so and and also they uh, they use about three different screws two to three um, I will say I fix my number of Apple products and it's usually two to three even four so we've taken the screws off and we're gonna remove we're gonna just upwards we're gonna remove the top lid from the iPhone okay that's very simple we're gonna, we're gonna do it one more time just gonna remove it up, boom, 
and you don't have to worry about cables because there is no cables connected to this back back panel okay so that's off and I'm gonna put that to the side and here is the iPhone 4 naked internal devices and we have the battery we have the back facing camera we have the motherboard goes from about here all the way down to about here okay so that whole thing is the motherboard okay that has the gigabytes and all that other goodness stuff in there um, and here we have the vibrator on the right hand side that um, vibrates the phone when you have it on vibrator mode here we have speaker um, yep speaker and mic uh, unit down here it's actually a little bit magnetized because they have little little magnets the speakers this one's actually the speaker this one's actually the microphone because it's not magnetized so we're gonna start by removing the battery to do this I'm gonna remove let me focus in Boop. there's a little screw right there okay so I'm gonna remove that little screw that is holding down a connector again when you're taking these screws out just look at them okay see if they're small they're long okay you just want to make a mental picture so that way you know where they go next time if not take a picture of all this all the um, placements of the screws so you know where they belong next I'm going to use the case opener to slightly to gently remove the connector from the board and I mean by gently I mean gently okay very there's nothing there's nothing to be forced here okay and we're gonna use the plastic tab that you see here a plastic tab and we're gonna there is adhesive underneath this battery um, so you're gonna have to just little tug and it'll come right off there we go okay they use adhesive and little screws okay so here's the battery if you want to replace the battery that's as far as you want to go place the battery put it back in put the put that one screw back in put the lid put the two screws and you're good to go again I've I've said uh, many times that uh, lithium uh, ion batteries only last about a year to a year and a half um, of their full lifespan so put that to the side next I'm going to remove five screws and they're located on the top around the camera area one is right here the other one's right next to the camera and the flash the other one's right below it the other one's on top and to the right of it so one two three four five I'm gonna remove those I'm gonna remove this that'll remove this black um, plate okay that's holding underneath this there's about five connectors and we will see that in a moment once again I cannot stress enough don't force these screws off if you find yourself not um, not taking them off easy that means you have the wrong screwdriver when I say mini screwdriver I mean mini screwdriver when you order the screen or almost any other products you want to fix um, sometimes the the sender will send you the tools okay these these are cheap little tools you know this one has been bitten by my dog by the way the plastic part because he doesn't he doesn't have enough toy toys he needs to go after my tools okay so okay I actually had to put this this screwdriver is not magnetized I do have a magnetized screwdriver but it's not mini so I use a little magnet okay and I just rub the screwdriver on it make it make it make it a little bit of magnetized that way when I'm unscrewing 
um, show you in a minute. And the screws will just stay on and not fall away, not go anywhere. Okay, so that that was four. Nope, that was actually three. On my, I'm, I'm on my fourth. There we go. This one actually contains two, two, let me see, one, two, three different types of screws. So I just want to make sure where they go. And um, so that removes. Um, note that underneath this plate, this is actually being held not only by the screws, but they're like little hinges right here, like little claws that are just digging into the chassis. Okay, so you want to be very careful when you remove this plate. It just it, it hooks underneath, like like a hook underneath, like that. So just want to be careful when you remove when you remove this plate. Just want to lift it up. Okay, and you want to just start jiggling it a little bit. It will come off. There you go. That came off pretty easy. Okay, just be careful. You don't want to bend it. It's really, I'm going to try to focus on it. If I can get it. There they are. Okay, so there's two little hooks. They just hook right underneath it. So just be careful. So here we have the five connectors I was talking about. Okay, these are all connectors for the board and for the uh, camera system and for the screens. But first, uh, before that, we're going to remove two screws that were next to the battery. Give me a second here. Okay, it's right on top. It's right on top of the the motherboard. I don't know what's wrong with my camera. I'm trying to focus in. There we go. So, right where I told you the board was, there's a shield right here. Okay, I want to remove that shield. It has two screws each side. So let's go ahead and do that. that shield little shield okay and then underneath the shield there's a connector okay another connector we're gonna take the case opener and we're gonna remove that connector very gently again can't stress gently there we go we're just gonna remove that a little bit. It's just adhesive under it. Okay, next I want to remove the vibrator. There's two screws. and a small one so small one and a long one this for the vibrator motor and we're gonna remove the motor and there it is a little motor okay and using the case opener again now we're gonna remove the five connectors and I'm gonna point them out there's one two three four and five okay again I cannot stress gently
this is the connector I'm going to show you this is the connector for the camera right here this one once you remove that connector you'll be able to remove the camera there's the camera Now lifting the ribbon cable that we, that we removed before, it's going to expose a screw. It's going to expose a screw right under it. You can see that right there. Okay. We're going to take that screw out. And to the other side of this screw, there's another screw on the other side of where the microphone and speaker is. We're going to remove that screw also. This will loosen the, um, the speaker housing. Okay, so now the speaker housing is loose. To remove the speaker housing, we're going to lift it up, but we're going to be extremely careful. Okay, extremely careful. We're going to lift it up, but there's a cable right over here that gives it power. I'm going to focus on all that. Okay, it's right there. Okay, so we're going to start lifting it up let's just lift it up a little bit okay we're gonna use the we're gonna use a flathead screwdriver actually for this part so find a small flathead if I could find mine it would be awesome there we go okay small flathead and we're going to remove that connector. Gotta be very gentle with this connector, okay? We don't want this connector to break. And here's the speaker and microphone housing. Very simple. Well, not simple, but okay. Just going through my notes here, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on a sec. So I'm going to be sure I'm doing this correctly. The order is supposed to go. Okay. So, where the board is. If you ever took in an iPhone to uh, an iPhone store and, and they take it to the back and you bring it in with a problem, they take it to the back room to check something, to check the phone, they're actually looking at this this little tab right here. This is, oh, wait, oh, there we go. This little white tab, it's the water sensor. If water touches that tab, there's one here my light just turned off there's one right there okay and I think there's another one nope there's just two of them if those taps um, start to bleed that means water has gotten into your phone you can tell they're in the middle of the board so it will take a while for water to get from either end to the around the middle it means that means your, your phone is water damaged and your warranty is there 
void unless you have the accidental warranty which they now offer pretty cool so we're gonna remove this one and my light just turned off because it says my um, uh, flash is too hot but we're gonna continue get out of there you little water tab okay and underneath this is a screw okay remove that screw After that screw is removed, that that's holding the. Um, actually, there is one more. Using the flat uh, screwdriver again. There's another screw on the top right hand corner where we removed all the connectors. We're gonna have to remove that screw in order to get to the remove the board. Actually, this one is too small. Let me switch it up. There we go. Look at this one, it's still too small. Nope, oh, that's good. There we go. Just gotta, this one is a little bit tricky to take out. Just gotta be careful. Take your time. There's no rush. You want your product to work. You can really use that flash, by the way. Okay. Screws different from all the rest, but we know where that one goes. So after removing that that screw the board should be um, loose now so we're gonna tilt all the connectors to the side that they belong to okay make sure they they're nice and exposed okay so we're gonna move move the motherboard very carefully and there's the motherboard I don't know exactly which what components are what but one of them is the 3G one of them that the SIM card goes into and one of them is for storage it's the uh, flash drive and I'm pretty sure the other one controls everything else like the CPU so we're almost there uh, I'm going to actually no, I'm going to continue, matter of fact. I'm going to just make one video. So, we have, in order to get to the screen, well, this is the screen underneath this, but um, there's 10 screws, okay? So, we have six large screws on the side, okay? So, one, two, three. One, two, three. That's six. Each of them have washers on them. And there are four smaller ones in the corners. One, two, three, four. So, ten screws in, in all. Keep these separated. These are all on um, Philip, I believe. Look like Philips. Yep, they're Philips. So 
Remember, the ones on the side have washers, the one on the corners don't. And uh, I do have no idea why. Don't ask me. Ask uh, the CEO of Apple now. I don't know who it is. Or the engineer. I think his name is uh, Steve Wozniak. Wozniak. Bear with me guys, this is tedious. Again, you don't want to rush this. But didn't mention this is my first iPhone 4 repair, screen repair, so it's not exactly I have little footnotes on my computer just to be sure I'm on the right step. Okay. I'm actually putting them on the cloth. So not that hard for this. Okay, so that's six on the side. And we're gonna remove the four on the corners. These I will put in the tray. Because they're small, very small. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Who, who makes screws these small? Oh my god. There we go. It's like, what machine in the world makes this? Taking it to a new level and it's small. I wonder what the iPhone 5 is gonna bring us. Invisible screws! Well, that's actually gonna be glue. Yeah. <coughs> that's what glue is uh, supposed to do. So I removed these screws. Just running through my notes again, guys. So now I remove the screws. Now I'm going to take my case opener and I'm going to go around the edge of the iPhone. Okay, so this is the iPhone. I'm going to go around the edge, the black edge right here. This should be loose now. Okay, taking out all the screws. So I'm just going to go and very gently I'm going to start opening it up. Okay, just apply a little pressure. I already got in there. I'm going to go all the way around. Okay, there is a little bit of adhesive, so that's why I'm going to go all the way around and just, you know, uh, start prying it open very, very gently. You don't want to, you don't want to put too much pressure because there are some cables they have to run through to take it out. I just heard it coming out. Okay, so you're gonna run that a couple of times. You can run it through just to make sure you have all the adhesive removed, not removed, but uh, the screen off the adhesive. You can see it's a little bit loose. I can pretty much do it by hand. Now the cables that you're gonna run through are on the top, which is the same screws, the same screws, the same cables that are on the top of the replacement screen. Okay, you can see that er, they're the same. Okay, you see that little black dot. No, the, there. Okay, I'm gonna remove it. Okay. 
I mean, the screen is, is messed up, but you don't want to uh, mess anything else up. So you want to just, you know, guide the cable through through the uh, through the, the chassis. And uh, voila! There it is. Okay, you have the front-facing camera, and all that other stuff here, the button, some of the screens. The replacement screens that I saw do bring buttons. Just depends on how much you're willing to spend. So there's the bezel and the housing. So I'm gonna leave that here, and we're gonna take a quick look at the at this. And looks pretty good. Okay, just making sure there's no dramatic different uh, major differences. Okay, they look good. Okay. Okay. So, one thing I see that the new um, screen didn't bring was the little mesh that's here for the earpiece. That's supposed to um, protect the uh, speaker from any dust particulates from getting to the speaker. So I'm just going to remove the mesh from the old screen so it has a little bit of adhesive. So I'm going to try to save that adhesive because I don't have any adhesive. It usually stays with a little bit of it on it. So we're going to try to save that. By saving it, I mean not touching it with your finger. Once you touch adhesive with your fingers, pretty much, it's pretty much useless. Okay. So now we're gonna put this mesh on the new screen. And it's going to use a little bit of the adhesive that was on it before. Okay. It's going to center it. And it's now on the new screen. You can tell it's right there. Okay. And I can also see that. Okay, that just flew away. Give me a second, guys. I'm trying to find something that fell on the floor and I'm gonna cut this as part one of two okay so let me look for this piece that fell on the floor and I'll be right back